All right, if you want to set up your DJ controller to play Spin Rhythm XD, this should be the guide that helps you. First thing we're going to do is go into Options, Settings, Input, bang. Your MIDI device should show up here. Uh, you've got to make sure it's one that does out actually output MIDI. There are a couple of native instrument wheels that don't. Um, some native instrument wheels need to actually be put into MIDI mode, so they will output MIDI because they don't by default. But if yours does, it should show up in this list. First thing we're going to do is bind the spin wheel action. And we're going to do that to one of our jogs, our right jog. So I'm going to bind first tapping and holding the top and spinning. Then we're going to spin the other way five times. And then just hit submit. It'll suggest a sensitivity for you. You can always go to the practice window and try it out. It's pretty, pretty high sensitivity there. I'm going to lower it. Minus what? Minus, I don't know, 2000 is probably a bit better. Yeah, it feels a bit better to me. A bit less crazy. Now, the main pitfall when binding jogs is there's one MIDI channel for tapping and rotating the wheel. And there's another one for not tapping and rotating the wheel. So you need to bind these separately. Otherwise, when you do a big spin and you release, the game won't know that the wheel's still spinning and it will stop immediately and it will look kind of janky like that. It'll just stop suddenly. So we're going to bind another input for spin wheel. We're going to be holding the side of the jog here and just do the same thing you did. Anti-clockwise slowly. Clockwise slowly, you don't really, you can just submit whatever here actually and just copy the sensitivity from the other binding, minus 2000. Now let's practice, we've got spinning, it's releasing, it's keeping its momentum, excellent. The next bind you need is grab tap wheel, which is for tap notes, hold notes and so on. So I'm just gonna tap the top of the jog, nice. Test it out, tap, 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 it's working. We'll need a beat button for hard and above. So I'm going to tap the other jog, but you can map basically any MIDI button you like to these. So if I wanted beat to be one of these, bang, it just works. But I don't, so I'll erase it. Um, an alternate tap button you can put on the other side if you prefer to tap separately with your other hand. And the other thing you can do is, you know, menu navigation, options, navigation, pause. You can map all of those things to your MIDI wheel as well. So I'll just show you quickly. Let's go up as that one, down as that one. Beautiful, now we can navigate the menu using our MIDI wheel. So you could set up your wheel to you know, be pretty comfortable to, to use for almost everything. And that's it, let's jump into a track, see if it worked, see if it feels good. Left Ready? and right, we got the spins, got the taps, Go. got the beats. Oh. Awesome, hope that helps. If you need any extra help, jump in Discord. We've got dedicated channels for controllers or just jump in chat and, um, you know, ping someone, they'll be able to help you. All right, peace.